By default, the Polygon tool draws like most other tools. You'll start a line, single click to set a vertex, click and drag to create a curve, and then double click to stop drawing. However, most users aren't aware that the Polygon tool can also draw by inner boundary and outer boundary. These modes are used to create a polygon in the area covered by the edges and surface of one or more objects in top plan view. Note that you must activate the layer that contains the objects you wish to interact with. These modes will only acknowledge objects on the current active layer. Even if you have Show, Snap, Modify Others enabled under Layer Options, these two modes will only recognize shapes on the current active layer. Using the Inner Boundary mode, we can easily fill in the areas left incomplete. With this mode enabled, simply click inside the boundaries of a polygon or other 2D shape that you wish to fill with a new polygon, similar to the Paint Bucket or Fill tools in many other graphic applications. After doing so, we will select them all and choose a fill that represents a water feature. By contrast, we can use the outer boundary mode of the polygon tool to create a polygon that is the exact shape of all the surface area covered by multiple hardscape objects and polygons. By clicking and holding down the left mouse button, we surround the objects we wish to get a polygon from. All objects completely surrounded by our selection will be included in the shape's creation. This is much faster than selecting each object, duplicating them, and then converting them from their current state into objects that will work with the Add Surface or Add Solids command. The most important advantage of using these modes to get polygons for more complex shapes, other than the fact that it saves you from tedious tracing and selecting, is that the polygons can be easily converted into a large number of other, more intelligent objects without having to draw the object with its default drawing mode and tools. Thank you for joining us, and don't forget to visit kbase.vectorworks.net for more video tech tips and other technical info. Thank you, and have a great day.